Crazed Bird is a pretty simple stage because so few enemies spawn. So at the beginning, Crazed Bird immediately spawns, he has the stats shown. Now what you want to do is just save up until you have enough money to deploy Awakened Bahamut, deploy a Crazed Macha to take a hit, and then immediately deploy Awakened Bahamut so that he can rush in and deal tons of damage to Crazed Bird, because Crazed Bird can only kill Bahamut in 3 hits. So Bahamut will actually take almost half of Crazed Bird's health away, just with this one assault. So right off the get-go, Crazed Bird is at half health, so unless you immediately deploy a Bahamut. And Crazed Bird isn't alone. At 60 seconds, Rain D spawn, who are mid-ranger units with 300 range and a ton of knockback counts. Though they can deal decent damage, they're not too much of a threat. A Boar spawns at 186 seconds. He's a big threat. Strong, fast, low-ranged frontliner who can help cushion damage for Crazed Bird and just push ahead because Crazed Bird's pretty slow. So he will be kind of a rusher unit for the enemies. The Rain Ds respawn every minute, while the Boars respawn every three and a half minutes. Since I have the speed up power up, everything is happening twice as fast, meaning the Rain Ds actually spawn at 30 seconds, and the Boar is actually going to spawn at 90 seconds. So if you're not using speed up, keep in mind those times are correct, but if you are, it's, everything's going to happen twice as fast, obviously. In my strategy, Awaken Bahamut is basically your magnum opus, he's your silver bullet. He is the main way to deal damage to Crazed Bird, and in, within three Awakened Bahamut cycles, uh, Crazed Bird will definitely be dead, as long as you time him right and there aren't too many enemies on the field. Like, for example, do not deploy Awakened Bahamut when Boar is on the front line, unless you need to, because Boar will just soak up all the hits and Crazed Bird will just kill Awakened Bahamut without allowing Awakened Bahamut to hit the bird at all. So essentially the stage is just cycling Awakened Bahamut and chipping Crazed Bird down with some of your other attackers, like normal Macho Legs, Crazed Legs, Island Cat, and Holy Valkyrie every now and then if you have enough money. The only hard part of the stage is when Boar is on the field, but even then it's not too difficult because if you really need to, you can save Wicked Bahamut to kill Boar. Uh, I didn't. All you need to do when Boar spawns is... Yeah, if you know, didn't notice, up until now, I've only been deploying Crazed Macho and Crazed Eraser, I mean Crazed Tank, which helps me save money and it meets shields perfectly fine. But once Boar spawns, you want to start deploying your normal wall cats with your Crazed Walls, so that way you have more meat shielding. And just keep spamming all your attackers, and Boar will die pretty easily. Uh, it's not that hard, very simple. Like I said, the only thing that requires timing is Awaken Bahamut, just so Crazed Bird doesn't immediately hit Bahamut when he spawns, so that's about it. This should be an easy win for you guys, and I'll see you in the next guide for Crazed Fish. See ya.